Good evening, Trinity. This is Jennifer for evening prayer on Thursday, August the 27th. And we actually have two saints that we're remembering tonight. The first one is Thomas Gallaudet, and um, it says, with Henry Winter Sile, and they died in different years. Thomas Gallaudet in 1902 and Henry Winter Sile in 1890. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O oh, gracious light. O oh, gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven. O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm appointed is Psalm 18, part two. The Lord rewarded me because of my righteous dealing, because my hands were clean, he rewarded me, for I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not offended against my God. For all his judgments are before my eyes and his decrees I have not put away from me. For I have been blameless with him and have kept myself from iniquity. Therefore, the Lord rewarded me according to my righteous dealing because of the cleanness of my hands in his sight with the faithfulness, you show yourself faithful, O God. With the forthright, you show yourself forthright. With the pure, you show yourself pure. But with the crooked, you are wily. You will save a lowly people, but you will humble the haughty eyes. You, O Lord, are my lamp. My God, you make my darkness bright. With you, I will break down an enclosure as with the help of my God, I will scale any wall. As for God, his ways are perfect. The words of the Lord are tried in fire. He is a shield to all who trust in him. For who is God but the Lord? Who is the rock except our God? It is God who girds me about with strength and makes my way secure. He makes me sure-footed like a deer. He lets me stand firm on the heights. He trains my hands for battle and my arms for bending even a bow of bronze. You have given me your shield of victory. Your right hand also sustains me. Your loving care makes me great. You lengthen my stride beneath me and my ankles do not give away. I pursue my enemies and overtake them. I will not turn back till I have destroyed them. I will not turn back until I have destroyed them. I strike them down and they cannot rise. They fall defeated at my feet. You have girded me with strength for the battle. You have cast down my adversaries beneath me. You have put my enemies to flight. I destroy those who hate me, but they cry out and there is none to help them. They cry to the Lord, but he does not answer. I beat them small like dust before the wind. I trample them like mud in the streets. You deliver me from the strife of the peoples. You put me at the head of the nations. A people I have not known shall serve me. No sooner shall they hear than shall they obey me. Strangers will cringe before me. The foreign peoples will lose heart. They shall come trembling out of their strongholds. The Lord lives. Blessed is my rock. Exalted is the God of my salvation. He is the God who gave me victory and cast down the peoples beneath me. You rescued me from the fury of my enemies. You exalted me above those who rose against me. You saved me from my deadly foe. Therefore, I will extol you among the nations, O Lord and sing your praises. He multiplies the victories of his king. He shows loving kindness to his anointed. 
to David and his descendants forever. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And the lesson today comes from John chapter 7. About the middle of the festival, Jesus went up into the temple and began to teach. The Jews were astonished at it, saying, How does this man have such learning when he has never been taught? And Jesus answered them, My teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. Anyone who resolves to do the will of God will know whether the teaching is from God or whether I'm speaking on my own. Those who speak on their own seek their own glory. But the one who seeks the glory of him who sent him is true, and there is nothing false in him. Did not Moses give you the law? Yet none of you keeps the law. Why are you looking for an opportunity to kill me? The crowd answered, You have a demon. Who is trying to kill you? Jesus answered them, I performed one work, and all of you are astonished. Moses gave you circumcision. It is, of course, not from Moses, but from the patriarchs. And you circumcise a man on the Sabbath. If a man receives circumcision on the Sabbath, in order that the law of Moses may not be broken, are you angry with me because I healed a man's whole body on the Sabbath? Do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgment. Now some of the people of Jerusalem were saying, Is this not the man whom they are trying to kill? And here he is, speaking openly. But they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that this is the Messiah? Yet we know where this man is from. But when the Messiah comes, no one will know where he is from. Then Jesus cried out as he was teaching in the temple, You know me, and you know where I am from. I have not come on my own, but the one who sent me is true, and you do not know him. I know him, because I am from him, and he sent me. Then they tried to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him, because his hour had not yet come. Yet many in the crowd believed in him and were saying, When the Messiah comes, he will do more signs than this man has done, will he? The Pharisees heard the crowd muttering such things about him, and the chief priests and Pharisees sent temple police to arrest him. Jesus then said, I will be with you a little while longer, and where I am, oh, and then I'm going to him who sent me. You will search for me, but you will not find me, and where I am, you cannot come. The Jews said to one another, Where does this man intend to go that we will not find him? Does he intend to go to the dispersion among the Greeks and teach the Greeks? What does he mean by saying you will search for me and you will not find me and where I am you cannot come? The Song of Mary My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now a little about our saints that are honored today, Thomas Gallaudet and Henry Winter Sile. They were priests, and again, um, the death of Thomas Gallaudet was August the 27th, 1902, and Henry Winter Sile was January 6, 1890. Thomas Gallaudet was born in 1822 in Hartford, Connecticut. His mother, Sophia, was deaf, and his father, Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet, was the founder of the West Hartford School for the Deaf, 
which was the principal institution for the education of the deaf in America from 1806 to 1857, the year of the founding of Gallaudet College in Washington, DC. The father had intended to become a priest, but had become an educator to the deaf instead. The son also intended to seek ordination, but was persuaded by his father to work for a while first as a teacher of the deaf. He did, and so met and married Miss Elizabeth Budd, who was deaf. He was ordained in 1851, and the next year established St. Anne's Church in New York, especially for deaf persons, with services primarily in sign language. As a result of his work, congregations for the deaf were established in many cities. Alternatively, some congregations that are mostly hearing will have someone standing near the front and signing the service for the benefit of deaf parishioners. Gallaudet died August 27, 1902. One of Gallaudet's students and parishioners was Henry Winter Sile, deaf from an early age, who had attended Trinity College in Hartford, Connecticut, St. John's in Cambridge, England, and Yale. Gallaudet encouraged him to become a priest, and in 1876, he became the first deaf person to be ordained by the Episcopal Church in the United States. He established a congregation for the deaf in 1888 and died on January the 6th, 1890. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Thomas and Henry and all your saints entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. O loving God, whose will it is that everyone should come to you and be saved, we bless your holy name for your servants, Thomas Gallaudet and Henry Winter Sile, whose labors with and for those who are deaf we commemorate today. And we pray that you will continually move your church to respond in love to the needs of all people. Through Jesus Christ, who opened the ears of the deaf, and who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts, and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.